My wall was faded by the sun. You could still see where the poster used to be. What? You're an only child? Yeah, my parents must be crying right now. Or just pissed off. Oh, because you're supposed to take over your family's big hotel, right? So just how big is it? Hmm? Oh, I get it. You only remember the important stuff. <laughs> What's going on in this pretty head? <laughs> but when Blast debuts, I bet they'll be so thrilled they'll forgive you right away. Parents are like that. So just make sure that happens. I'll do my best for my Hachi. I told you, don't call me Hachi! But when I hear the name Nana, all I can think of is that cat-eyed queen. <laughs> cat-eyed? Yeah, that's what I've been calling her since the 10th grade. Now it's like total reflex. Wow, you guys have been playing in Blast since the 10th grade? No, we actually formed the band the summer of my junior year. But me and Nana knew each other the year before that. Really? Hey, what was Nana like in high school? Well, she didn't talk much, she never laughed, and she'd give people all kinds of evil looks. What? She wasn't the most popular girl in high school? No way! Uh, she was a total goth chick. But even so, she was really pretty, so she stood out. But you could never tell what she was thinking, so everyone was too scared to get close to her. But when I look back on it, it must have been kind of lonely for her. Having no friends to talk to? So I tried to impress her with my big mouth and stunning good looks, but she just ignored me. I felt so rejected. <laughs> but you know me, I'm a total music freak, and I thought, if she won't talk to me, I'll get her with music. So I let her borrow some of my CDs. Well, I forced them on her, like ten or so of my favorites. I figured there's bound to be one she'd like. Then one day, she finally talked to me. Tadashima. Huh? Thanks for letting me listen to your CDs. If you get any new ones, let me know. She smiled! Oh, um, something? Sure! Hey, I Nana, wait a minute! After all. So, what kind of music are you into? I mean, which CDs did you like? Uh, what's it called? The crazy one, the band with the porn name? The Sex Pistols? Yeah, that one. You like punk rock too? So do I! What a dork. I was so happy. She was falling in love with me. It sounds more like you were totally in love with her. Well, maybe a little bit. What the hell? <laughs> I hate you! <laughs> but that was all a long time ago. And besides, once we became such close friends, it was impossible for me to even think of her like that anymore. I mean, I'm the one who introduced her to Ren in the first place. You're the one who introduced Ren to Nana? Mm-hmm. Nana was so warped back then that she scared all the guys off. I thought Ren might be the only person she could relate to. In those days, I used to look up to Ren as some sort of invincible hero. And your plan worked! Yeah, but not the way I expected. What do you mean? Little by little, I began to realize that Ren wasn't as invincible as I first thought he was. 
I think Nana ended up saving him just as much as he saved her. You know, when I was younger, I used to think that guys had to be all strong and stuff for their girlfriends. So I tried to act real tough in front of the girls. But now I see just how stupid that was. Why do you think that was stupid? <laughs> so what do you think of these wimpy guns? Are they strong enough for you? Well, yeah, of course they are. <sighs> oh, ever since I fell in love with you, Hachiko, I've realized what a totally unmacho girly guy I am. What do you mean? You're the guy who promised he'd do anything to make me happy. And I will. As long as you're always by my side to support me. I feel like I can do anything with you by my side. Deal. I get it. Nobu's like a clinging child. This is new for me. I'm usually the one who's like that. What's going on? My heart bleeds for him. I want to be with him. I want to spoil him. I want to be there for him. I want to hold him. I want to do everything he wants. In the past, I only thought about having men do those things for me. Maybe that was my big mistake. Good morning. Uh... Nana, you're back here again. What about Ren? Ah, uh, he's pretty busy with work right now, so he's hardly ever home. You left me Sato, and you weren't with Takumi, so who were you with? Uh, wh where is Misato? She's still sleeping. I've got to explain everything to her. But how am I gonna make her understand? I hooked up with Nobu right after I broke up with Takumi. Actually, things kinda overlapped. I have to think this over. I'm working today, so I better get changed and get out of here. Oh, by the way, did you find the record store where Nobu works yesterday? Oh, yeah, thanks. Sorry, I gotta get out of here quick. You two seem to get along pretty well. Huh? Ever since I've known him, he's always been an honest and sincere guy. You both share similar values like that. Of course, most of the time, you're like two little dogs whining for attention, which can get kind of annoying. Nana totally understands. It must have been kind of lonely for her, having no friends. Because Nana knows just how nice Nobu can be, even more than I do. Nana? Hmm? You know, me and Nobu... I think I'm... I'm head over heels in love with Nobu! Of course you are. She didn't say anything after that. I didn't say anything else either, because that would seem like it was making excuses. I don't have to explain anything, really. All I have to do is treasure Nobu, and Nana will always be watching over us. Hey, look! Kyosuke did this! Wow, it's amazing! Mr. Kyosuke is really talented. <laughs> Don't call him Mr. He's the same age as you. He seems older to me because he acts kind of like a father to you. Oh, do you think I should put on a suit and ask him for your hand? <laughs> Let's just call him an older brother, okay? Look over there, it's June's painting. It's incredible, in more ways than one. <laughs> but I don't really get what it means, June. Can you explain it to us? I believe I'm the one who needs an explanation here. Huh? Nana and Nobu? Yeah, all lovey-dovey. It was so gross. What the hell? Last I heard, she was into Yasu. Well, I guess that fling didn't work out. Fine, but why didn't she tell us that before? I wonder why she'd hide it from us. Oh, I think she was actually hiding some other guy. And I bet he broke her heart into pieces. At any rate, she was really depressed about her ex and whoever else, and Nobu was just nice to her then, so she probably just went along with it. Yeah. But it seemed like she'd gotten over her ex pretty fast. Well, that's true, but I don't think her ex had much to offer her. I mean, just take a look around. There are plenty of fish in the sea that are better than her ex. Hey, Mr. X, here's the Jackson burger you ordered. 
Shut up with all the X-crap! Oh, I didn't see you there. Sorry. You called me to meet you here! You're always here, whether we call you or not. Even though you moved to a place farther away. Uh, what? When did that happen? I thought you had to stay put because you're broke. He was able to get out of his lease. That way, he could shack up with Sachiko. He made us help him move, even though we were busy. It was such a drag. Whatever! I didn't even ask! You just barged in to spy on me! Sachiko's place is one station away, right? Yeah... But I'll keep coming here, so don't you worry, Koichi Sato. You don't have to come. Why not? After you broke up, Nana stopped coming around for her Jackson burger fix because you're here all the time. Sorry. But she doesn't have to worry about Mr. X anymore now that she's all lovey-dovey with her new boyfriend. Why don't you tell him to drop by sometime? I want to see this guy. What? Nobu's never been here? But I thought he lived in this neighborhood. With his band and work, he probably doesn't have time to come here. The guru hasn't dropped by either. What guru? Nana's roommate. Oh, right. Is her new boyfriend cool? Yeah, he's all right. But once you put a guitar in his hands, he actually turns into a pretty cool guy. It's weird. Totally. He's usually just part of the scenery. A bit like X here. No kidding. Don't you think Nobu is a lot like our Mr. X? Right, like the stupid way they both talk. You think so? I always thought her new boyfriend was a bit on the pretentious side. What? When did you meet him? Well, I haven't, but from what Nana told me a while back, his parents own a big hotel and he just threw that away to be an abandoned Tokyo. I guess that's enough to get Nana's attention, but come on. I heard that he said something to the guru, like, I'll be happy as long as I'm playing my guitar and you're singing. Huh? huh? I mean, who says things like that? You wouldn't, and that's why you suck. But it's so cheesy! You suck because you can't allow yourself to say cheesy romantic things. You make things worse by trying to play it cool all the time. Wait, now I get it. I'm beginning to see what it is that attracts Nana to Nobu. He knows what to say and do to please her. He plays the good friend who the girl can confide in, and then when the time's right, he drops the Romeo lines. It's a subtle art that he seems to have mastered. I'd say he's the right guy for our Nana. This may turn out good for her. What do you think, Shoji? What do I think? I'm fine with it. All I want is for Nana to be truly happy. Feeling jealous? Koichi Sato, another Jackson burger for my girlfriend, Sachiko. Welcome home, Shoji. Present for you. Oh, you were at Jackson's again? Thank you. <laughs> Sorry it's not some designer bag. I suck, I already know that. Hmm? Actually, if I had the choice, I'd prefer a Jackson burger. You think we were too mean to him? Yeah, whatever. We had to put him in his place. <laughs> we succeeded in that. Shoji is never going to admit to being jealous under any circumstances. But you and I know that he really is. Men are so selfish. Well, it'd probably piss me off if he wasn't a little bit jealous. You know, Shoji was into Nana in a big way. He just loves Sachiko more. But don't you think the reason for that is because Sachko loved him more than Nana did? You really think so? It seemed to me that Nana couldn't possibly live without Shoji. Well, it's impossible for us to measure who loved who more, but I'm betting Shoji felt more loved by Sachko than Nana. Maybe it's the way they express their feelings. Nana is so one way, it can be hard to deal with. Yeah. When they were going out, Shoji would always come over to our place, just so he could get drunk and complain about Nana. Nana doesn't love me for who I am. She just loves me because I'm in love with her. Of course, he was right, but I could never tell him. <laughs> well, maybe that wasn't really how Nana felt, but I can totally see why he would think that. When she found out he was cheating on her, she immediately said she didn't want him. That had to have been a big blow to him. It confirmed his fears. I was right all along, he must have thought. But Nana only said that because she can't deal with the painful stuff very well. When she gets hurt, she just runs away from it. Yeah, always. She runs away, shuts the door, and just won't deal with the other person. Have you ever noticed that when she talks to other people sometimes, it seems like she's having a conversation with herself? Yeah. <laughs> but lately, she doesn't seem to come crying to you as much as she used to. Maybe it means she's finally able to deal with the guy she's with. Let's hope so. If Nobu cheats on her, I hope she'll be passionate enough to kick and scream at him to get him back. So tell me, if I cheated on you, would you kick and scream to get me back? No way, I'd beat you to death. <sighs> well, I'm glad to hear that. You are? It's all about how we express our feelings, right? The number you have reached does not accept unidentified calls. Please activate your caller ID and try again.
Why would someone suddenly start screening their calls? Maybe because they hate you. <laughs> Ren, turn the page. Welcome home, Ren. Guess what? Nobuo and Hachiko are an item. Now she has two guys? Way to go, Hachiko. What are you saying? There's no way she could handle two guys at once. She broke up with Takumi, dude. Whoa, really? Well, that scumbag deserves it anyway. All he thinks about is getting laid. Look who's talking! Just turn your caller ID on. Then she'll just know who she's ignoring. <gasps> oh, you're right. Hachiko, I thought you two broke up. Nope. She just screamed at me over the phone. Where the hell is the crew? What do they take us for? Takumi, they've still got ten minutes. Huh? Ugh, stop reading that porn. It was just one page. You know how manga is. Hachiko doesn't satisfy you. Oh, contraire, ma petite amie. What? She's that good? When I'm talking to you, it feels like I'm talking to a guy. I've got to hand it to you, Nobuo. You finally won Hachiko over. It's all thanks to you. Huh? I've always known you were on my side, secretly rooting for me. You've got my back, because we're tight like that. You're wrong. It was never about you, dude. Of course! You did it for Hachi! You thought that of all people, I'm the one who could make her happy. Well, she will be! It's not like that. I hate to tell you this, but I just used you. <gasps> That's revenge against Takumi? Nope. Then what? So that Hachiko could run unleashed in my own backyard. Just make sure she doesn't go running away ever again. <sighs> Nobu! <laughs> hey, Nana! <laughs> <laughs> I guess some people never really change. She's still just as warped as she was before. I thought getting her together with Ren would make her a bit more normal. Nana is one of those extremely possessive females. I mean, she put a padlock around Ren's neck. What's that all about? Huh? That's just because she's into Sid Vicious. I'm sure it's nothing more than a fashion statement. I think there's more to it. I mean, she also got a Ren flower tattooed on the side of her arm. No matter how much she loves him, isn't that going a little bit too far? But he seems to be into it. And even after being apart for two years, Ren was still obsessed with Nana. Sounds like he's pretty crazy himself. And Hachi's always talking about them like they're the ideal couple. Maybe I'm wrong to think they're so messed up. Finding true love! I love stories like that! Damn, it's Keiko. She is such a sadist. What?! She's a sadist? I won't be crashing here tonight, so you should tell Hachi to come over. I'm stoked that you guys are together. You're good for each other. Sheen, tell me the truth. Are you happy for us because you want to keep her as your pet? You wanted me to go chase after her as if she was a dog. <laughs> no way. I just wanted you to answer your own question. What question? If a man and a woman are just objects of desire to each other, can they ever be connected by love? <sighs> You two connected, right? I mean, I know you've already had sex. And that's cool. It's only natural. But are you connected by love? You're just gonna have to try it for yourself, dude. <sighs> Not possible. This is just a temporary contract. When the album's release date is set, we'll draw up an official contract. I'm working around the clock to make this happen as soon as possible. But there are many people involved, and unfortunately, I don't always get my way. I don't have time for the details. You only need my signature and seal on this temporary contract, correct? Yes, that is all we need. I need you to know I have concerns regarding the entertainment business. Of course you do. I have kids as well. So I understand that as a parent, you're always worried about that your That is sons. not what I meant. Only in show business is the media allowed to dig into people's personal lives. I do not want that kind of trouble for me or for my other son. <sighs> well, we thought it would be best to keep all the band members' profiles secret. Even within the industry, we'd be sure to disclose your son's age is 18. That would be enough to... Uh... You can do whatever you want, as long as you keep his true identity a secret. I don't want our family's dirty laundry exposed to the world. When you drop the official contract, send it to me in the mail. I don't want to waste any more of my time with this kind of nonsense. Now, if you'll excuse me, Mr. Okazaki. 
Even though he's not your flesh and blood, you did raise this kid for 15 years. Are you telling me you don't feel anything for him? Unfortunately, I couldn't bring myself to feel any love for Shinichi. Not even once. Though, I tried my best. Hey, Miss Hachiko, we're almost out of paint. Is it okay if I open a new one? Sure. I hope you don't mind helping me paint my room, Misato. No! This is a lot of fun! Painting the walls white makes this old room seem brighter. It's really nice. All I want to do is seal off my memories. But why do I feel like a criminal destroying evidence? Am I still the same? Am I just making another one of my mistakes? Hey, Nana. The mistakes I made, the scars I have, they won't simply disappear even if I cover them up. So I'm still calling your name, no matter how much it hurts, until you answer me. I read.